What's going on everyone? In this video, we'll be recapping the August SAT that you all just took probably a couple of hours ago. And now if you guys are watching this video, the ST August you know, has passed. People have taken it, you've taken it. People who are going to um, cry are probably gonna cry. People are gonna be happy, are probably gonna be super happy watching this video. Before this video goes on and before I discuss what the common sentiment is about the August SAT, like how the math was, how the reading was, I want you guys to comment down below how you personally feel you did on this past August SAT. So now with that being over, let's first talk about how the math was. You see, I have a Discord community as well as a lot of people email me after they take the SAT, asking questions and their opinions and their distresses or their, their happinesses about the test they just took. So based on all the emails I received, I can easily talk about how each section of the SAT was for like the average student. But based on math, the common sentiment is the fact that uh, it wasn't as hard as a lot of people thought. A lot of people thought it was easy. Some even claimed that the math SAT was way easier than they expected. There were some problems on linear equations that may have tripped them up a little bit with the wording, but overall they were able to get past it. So what this means is, well, the August SAT is pretty much the same as it has always been in the past in terms of the content. Nothing new is being introduced to the SAT. There's no new uh, languages or wording. Everything is pretty like, you know, bare bone almost the exact same as it's always been for you know years now. So if you guys are worried about you know this new upcoming SAT cycle that is a 2022 slash 2023 SAT, you do not need to worry about it because based on what has been said, the math SAT problems have been similar to the ones they took in the past. There's nothing new, nothing uh, interestingly different. Mostly everything is about the same, just different numbers and people. So guys, I'm trying to tell you like the SAT August math section was actually a bit easier than a lot of people thought. Now, what does this mean for the curve? Because I'm sure you guys all are probably wondering, well, if the math SAT was easy for a lot of students, doesn't that mean the curve is gonna be really, really harsh? Well, you do have to understand one thing, and that is the fact that an easy SAT, where like the problems aren't too hard, and a lot of students are getting these problems correct, it means one thing, and unfortunately, it means it's a really harsh curve. So if you did bad on the math SAT, then um, yeah, you might want to start looking at the October SAT because the only reason is the fact that with the August SAT math section being deemed as overall easy and the problems being solved much easier for a lot of people, if you got the problems wrong, not only is the curve gonna hurt you, but the fact that you're getting a lot of problems wrong is really gonna hurt you the way it is. So if you need help on the math SAT, and trust me guys, I always say the math SAT is the easier SAT. If you need help with it, please be sure to check out my course in the description below, the six hour SAT math crash course. that will teach you everything you need to know to get an 800 on the math SAT. So please don't wait any longer, don't hurt yourself. I want you guys to get the best math SAT score possible and get that 800. And now we talk about the reading. And I feel like this is the common theme for most SATs, no matter what, I usually never hear that the reading section was super easy. Based on the emails that I got, a lot of people were proclaiming that the reading SAT, uh, well, I can't really say some of the words that they use, but basically whooped their butt. Uh, apparently, there's some, like two of the passages are really hard. Uh, I can't really say the exact names of the passages because that is a uh, feel like college bro might get mad at me. So you guys could probably comment it down in the description below though. Uh, two passages were exceptionally hard for a lot of students. Uh, a lot of my emails were saying the same two passages. Like I'm not gonna say what they're about. But one was science. All right, one was science. So you know you should kind of know which one I'm talking about. But the fact is those two passages, aside from those, everything else was uh, much more doable. But those two passages in particular definitely whooped a lot of people's butts. And we all know like two passages is basically 20 questions worth on the reading SAT. So 20 questions wrong, that's assuming you got literally every single question wrong on both passages. It's, it's not bad actually. Uh, if you get 15 wrong, sometimes you can still walk away with a 680, uh, 670 if your curve is really nice at 690 even. But um, so 20 wrong, you're looking maybe at a 650 depending on the curve. But because a lot of people were saying that the reading SAT was hard and that it wasn't um, super like, it wasn't as easy as the math one at least, the curve for the reading section of the SAT is gonna be a little nicer in terms of, if you got a lot of questions wrong, don't expect your score to be tanking. No, a lot of students are gonna be getting a lot of questions wrong on the SAT reading section. In fact, I always say it is the hardest section, okay? So a lot of students are getting these questions wrong, that means the curve will be nicer, so maybe Instead of if you get one question wrong, you're at a 790 instead of 800. Maybe you need three questions wrong on the reading section, then you get a 790 instead of an 800. So maybe if to get a 700, instead of 10 questions wrong, you might need 17 questions wrong. So that's just gonna help you 
you know, give you that pillow, give you that cushion that you need. So this means if you did really well in the reading SAT and your actual accuracy in terms of like questions you got right uh, versus the questions you answered is like really, really high, then you probably are looking at a 750 plus on the reading SAT, which is exceptional. So hopefully if you guys had no struggles with any of the passages and you guys, you know, studied, used Khan Academy, everything, then you guys are in a very nice spot for the reading SAT. And like I said, you can always take the SAT again. So don't worry about, you know, doing, doing too bad on the math or doing too bad on the reading because you can always take the SAT again and super score your SAT. So that way you get the best scores from all your SATs combined and pick the best math score, best reading score, put them together and send them to the college as your final SAT score. Now, with the math being talked about and the reading being talked about, the question is, what do you do from here on out? If the August SAT is your last SAT, then you know you're pretty much golden you don't really have to worry about a lot of things but let's say you want to take the sat again looking for the uh, october sat what you need to do is first you need to see what you're struggling with. like i said if you're struggling in the math section please be sure to check out my course guide i put a lot of work in this it's six hours crash course you will learn everything you need now for the sat reading section unfortunately i do not have a course nor do i have sat notes for it they're being developed right now as we speak hopefully i can get them out to you soon but for the SAT reading section, what I recommend for you guys is use Khan Academy. I talk about it all the time. Use Khan Academy. Keep reading. Watch my other reading SAT videos that where I talk about you know certain skills like annotating, reading questions first, uh, tips and tricks to use to master the SAT reading section. Like I want you guys to really practice the sections you are weak on. Use a course for the math SAT. Use Khan Academy for the reading SAT slash my YouTube videos for both, and you guys can easily improve your SAT score. For the October SAT, or maybe if you take the SAT after that, the November one, December one, uh, February one, whichever one are the upcoming ones. I think March, because after the New Year's March, right? But you guys have time, all right? So I don't want you to stress. If you're a junior, if you are a junior and you're stressing with SAT right now, trust me, guys, you do not need to. You have so much time. You literally have a year, okay? It's August right now. You have until like August of next year to really get a good SAT score. So you have a bunch of time, all right? Don't worry. Don't stress too much. You guys can get the score you want. Just keep studying, keep practicing. Check out the resources in the description below. I highly recommend them. I personally, you know, either made them or looked for them or I can vouch for them. So thank you all for watching. Peace.